In this video, I'm going to show you what the best Minecraft launcher is, but starting at the bottom, we have the default Minecraft launcher. This one is at the bottom because it is just lacking a ton of functionality for modding. It's just very difficult to add mod packs and to separate them. It is also one of the worst performing launchers on the list. So let's just move right on to the next one, which is MultiMC. Now you might be wondering, why is MultiMC so low on the list? It's used by so many people. Well, ever since the API change that CurseForge did, MultiMC updated and made it so you can't download any CurseForge mod packs through the launcher. And because of this, I prefer other launchers more because they still have that functionality. MultiMC has also been replaced by Prism Launcher, which we'll talk about later, which can download mods directly through the launcher. Next up we have the CurseForge launcher. Now this is another launcher that I just don't recommend you using because of how bloated it is. It makes you download Overwolf which is a service that is used for many games but it plays ads through it and I just would not recommend it. And one of the biggest things for me is it can't download mods or mod packs from Modrinth and it also can't download Quilt. Modrinth is gaining a lot of traction and a lot of people are using it. It has a lot of mods that I like using, so it would be nice if a launcher could have that built in. One of the good things about this launcher is that it's really easy to make mod packs. So if that's something that you care about, then I'd consider using this, but other than that, I can't really recommend it over our other options. Speaking of our other options, these are the launchers that I do recommend you using, starting with GD Launcher. The reason why I recommend this launcher is because of how easy it is to download CurseForge mod packs, especially the incompatible ones where it will automatically download the mods that you need for them, whereas other launchers you have to do a little bit of work manually. But for me, that's kind of where the good things end, because it doesn't have the modrinth functionality that CurseForge doesn't have either. And when you download the launcher for the first time, it's pretty bloated on your computer. Unless you change the settings in the launcher, then it stays that way. But overall, the GD launcher is a great launcher, and I wouldn't be mad at you if you use it. Moving on, we have the Prism launcher. This is second place and very close to being the first one. This is the best launcher for people with bad computers. And this is very close to being the best launcher, but there is one drawback. That drawback is when you download some CurseForge mod packs, then you have to add some mods manually. But other than that, there really is not much to talk about. This launcher is fantastic, and the developers do a great job, and their Discord server is very helpful. And finally, we have the best overall launcher that I recommend to just about everyone. The At Launcher. It can do everything that Prism Launcher can do, but even a little bit more. The biggest thing, and the thing that pushed it into number one for me, is how easy it is to download mods. This launcher is filled with functionality and features. One of the features I really like is it won't let you install mods that are not compatible. And another thing is if you run servers, you can do it through the launcher, even with modded servers. And it's just so easy to add mods to your instances. This launcher is fantastic and I really do recommend you guys to use it. Alright, so you might be wondering, where is PolyMC? Well, it's actually been compromised recently, and if you haven't heard of it, there is a lot of drama surrounding it. But basically, do not use the launcher. It has now been replaced with the Prism launcher, which is basically the exact same thing. And this one is trustworthy. Do not use PolyMC. You may also be wondering, where are clients such as LabyMod, Lunar, and Feather Client? Well, those can't easily play mod packs like the other ones can. But if all you do is play vanilla, then they are great because they give an FPS boost and they're really easy to set up. But even though clients are great, I still recommend you to use the at launcher because you can get the same exact features by adding mods easily and you can get more FPS if you go through a couple extra steps. My next video will be about how to get the most FPS possible using the at launcher. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to download those incompatible mod packs from CurseForge and add shaders to them. First, you start by downloading the mod pack you want, in this case, Better MC. Then you get a pop-up saying these mods are incompatible, but all you do is click open all in browser and it will automatically download the mods for you that you need. Then you're done. Next, let's add the shaders. You click add mods and then search for iris. Then that's it, you add it to your mod pack and you're done. All of the launchers in this video are trustworthy. What you should not trust are cracked launchers that give you Minecraft for free. 
Another thing, don't confuse the AT launcher with the T launcher. The T launcher is a malicious cracked software that you should not use. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. The description will also be filled with a lot of relevant information.